Welcome back. In this new session, I will talk about the project management process and how the project and the process are related to each other. I will introduce the five steps of the project management process and define their outputs. Finally, we'll have a look how the project, the processes and the phases relate to each other. Let's have a look at the project management process. It may sound strange that we are talking about the process while we are talking about projects. We've seen before that projects are unique ventures. Nevertheless, all projects go through the same steps time after time. These steps are represented in the project management process. The project management process is the same for all projects. And each step of the process is repeated for every project. Good processes guarantee good results, so you understand that a good project management process is key for having a good project. Let's look at the different process steps. The first step of the process is the initiation. The second is the planning. The third is the execution. And finally, we have the closing of the project. Of course, there is still the process step related to monitoring and controlling the project. What are the outputs of these process steps? First of all, the initiation relates to the project charter and the stakeholders. At the end of this step, we will have a charter and we have identified the stakeholders. Planning is the next step of the process. And in this step, we prepare the project plan and create the project baselines. In execution, we execute the project and create the project deliverables. Monitoring control reports changes, reports the way the tasks and activities have been completed and is very crucial to a good completion of the project. Finally, we come to closing where we close the project, where we make the as-built plans, look at lessons learned, we close contracts, and we store the knowledge we obtained during the project. Closing is very important because all the information will help us later to improve our project management. We can also have a look at the project, the process and the different phases. Projects are unique and limited in time. The process, however, is repeated for the project, but also for every project phase. In the example, we see a project which is composed of three phases, phase one, phase two and phase three. For each of those phases, we will make the project management process. For phase one, we have the process. Phase two, in this case, is overlapping with phase one. So the moment we start with phase two, we start again with the project management process. And the last phase, we do exactly the same. So the project phases are important in some projects because we can split up these projects in different phases. We also have to make a distinction between the process steps and the project phases. A project step and a project phase are different. So, we finished another session. Thank you very much and see you at the next session.